we are at the Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. Um, it's about 8.30 and uh, there's not many people here. I think they open at 8. So we'll do a quick tour before they, it gets crowded. But um, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be up in the near 70, um, though it's 35 right now. This is a pretty big place, 1,400 acres, I think it is, something like that. This is what the whole situation is. It's a little different this time of the year and the early part of the year. Um, you look down here and the hawks come over these ridges because they like the thermals from the mountains. But. Their shirts are pretty nice, but they're latex. I hate latex t-shirts. programs. We've been to a few programs here, but it's pretty neat. This is what you see from the mountain. Here's yesterday's count. We saw 15 golden eagles and 13 bald eagles. The eagles come down later, so not bad. Count for the year, season to date. This is the entrance from the parkway, the, the parking area. Um, this is the native garden and the visitor center is up there. And we're going this way, to the trails to the top. And essential gear for Hawk Mountain is a pad, a sleeping pad or yoga pad or some kind of pad to sit on the rocks. Because you sit on rocks and they will be cold and hard. So you bring a pad of some kind or some kind of seat and uh, I've got all my camera equipment and warmer gear in the backpack. And I like to carry the backpack anyways. The initial trail is handicapped, accessible, up to what they call the South Lookout. And they have restrooms along the trails and at the top. The bathrooms are composting toilets. So if you're shy, consider that. Here we are at the South Lookout. A lot of neat stuff here. Trail. 
to the North Overlook. And this is a pretty typically normal Pennsylvania mountain forest. Some parts of the trail are much more developed than others. We're about three quarters of the way, I think. Very nice lady in the parking lot said she'd keep an eye on the boys in the car, of course. side where there might be some shade from the sun. Hey. These are the cheap seats down here. Yeah. <laughs> Under donut now. Working his way up though. Here he comes. He's starting to get. He's moving left. Yeah, the lowest, the lowest bird is the golden eagle. I, I saw Mommy does it there, like you're down on my haunches, and I kind of, it might not look pretty, but it, it's either there, see. Oh, we're trying to do is stay alive. <laughs> 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 stay alive, but it's so Okay, so there's a golden eagle over number one. Actually over two. Now. Is it over two? Okay. Like right over two now. In the little gray oh. cloud. He says two twenty seven. My in laws settled. Mm -hmm. And the second one is four twenty five. 
One that's still like kind of the low slope of pinnacle. Maybe halfway below. Now it's Logan. Logan. No, I had my G C it can be really crowded. <laughs> well, after two hours of me sitting on top of Hawk Mountain watching eagles and hawks, turkey vultures go by. We we're finally getting the boys out for a little hike on the Appalachian Trail. Nice section of the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania, in Kempton, Pennsylvania. There are about a dozen cars parked on the road where we're parked. This type of topography is everywhere in this part of Pennsylvania. It's a rock garden and it's just unlimited amount of rocks. And they're not big rocks, they're, you know, a couple of men could probably pick these up, but it's great snake habitat, I imagine. But it's just everywhere. You just don't see like the Adirondacks, you have big boulders, great big boulders. But this is nothing compared to the Blue Rocks. One thing you can say for the Appalachian Trail, it seems to have a pretty good history. And it's well cared for. Now these are pretty significant steps, solid concrete steps over a steel girder bridge. I don't know how they got this here, but it's a very nice bridge to walk across. I suppose when you're following a trail that more or less follows the ridges of mountains, if you find a flat spot, you turn it into a campground. And this is one campground. We're about, we're not quite a mile from the, from the road. Somebody doesn't know which direction Maine is and Georgia is. 